So, how many times has this happened? I'm gonna put a new motherboard in. You bought the wrong size. It just won't fit in your case. So, I've got a solution. You know, you've got this one, but this is your old one. You don't really want to use it. It's your new upgraded one. So, you turn it over. Take your old one, which fits in the case, and you line them up, and then you take a Sharpie marker, and you just mark a line, just like that. So now you've got your line, and well, it looks like that heat sink's going to be in the way, we don't need it. We'll just take it off. You know, this this will be a smaller board, so it'll run cooler. But we don't need any heat sinks on it. There. We probably only have half of that chip anyway. And we don't need who uses PCI slots anymore. We don't need those. Looks like we're going to get to keep our SATA ports. So that should be fine. So now. We need to clamp it down. Don't want it to move. So we'll just take our little clamps. And now we've got it secured. Now be sure to wear safety glasses. And you'll need a saw. About a 13 amp will do. Make sure to get the line just right. For precision, I've got laser. My clamps are in the way, so I have to move it together. So. We'll go from this side. Now, we can unclamp the motherboard. Take a look at it. Hey, we may even be able to fit this back on. Uh, it may not fit in the case like that, though. But we don't need it. Yeah, we, we cut part of that off anyway. And, you know, I bet it'll fit now. Hey, what do you know? It fits perfect. Now, we don't want to throw anything away. So we've, you know, we've got these three slots here, these PCI slots, and oh, we've got a floppy connector and um, two USB connectors. That Those could come in use. So, you know, we got this old motherboard. We can probably find a big case to put that one in. So let me just get some duct tape. And we can uh, make this a full-size ATX board. So, I've got the duct tape. And all we've got to do, really, is, uh, you know, I don't need a lot on here. Because, it, you know, it'll get held onto the case with some screws. Just take a good strip of duct tape here. I'm just going to line it up on the board. And we'll kind of piece this one up next to it. And press it down. Curl the duct tape over. There we go. Got to get a good seal on it and just to make sure it sticks good. We'll put a piece going this way. So that, that'll make sure it'll stay. And there. We've got ourselves a full ATX board. I just gained three more PCI slots. So 
we were able to reuse this motherboard and turn it into a full ATX board. And we were able to turn this one into a micro ATX board. Now, you have to figure some way of turning this thing on because we kind of took the, uh, you know, the power uh, leads and, you know, all the LED leads. That's all now attached to this one. But this one, you could have dual power buttons on it and everything. Pretty cool. I'll show you. So, here it is, all cut. We don't need any PCI slots. We got two PCI Express. We were able to keep our two SATA ports. Still got the BIOS. Of course, now this one, this one's ready to go too. And now, it fits perfect. Just like it should.